Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add your Twitch chat overlay to your stream in OBS. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now you can see a quick example of what this is. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be using Streamlabs for this tutorial. So what you want to do is click login and then you can choose a number of different accounts that you can log in with. In this case, we're going to be using Twitch. If this is your first time logging into Twitch, you will have to authorize and allow Streamlabs to have access to your Twitch. But Streamlabs is a really powerful platform. It gives you a lot of features and it gives you a lot of information about your Twitch stream. Right now, when you sign in, you'll be brought to your dashboard. And for those of you who follow some of my previous tutorials with Streamlabs, you may notice that their dashboard has been updated and changed but it's still pretty much the same thing around so once you've logged in you've accepted all the terms and conditions what you want to do is come over to the left and we're going to be expanding our widgets panel from here we're going to be going to chat box and here we have all of our chat box settings that will show for our actual twitch chat so on the top of this page we have a giant black box preview that's going to be showing a quick preview of what all of our settings are doing so we can come up and check exactly what we're doing when we're tweaking our settings and changing stuff so the first thing we can change is the team and this is going to determine how your actual text will look so if you know how to use css you can come up to custom css and you can see how everything goes back to kind of bad and ugly but of course thankfully streamlabs has a couple of good different options that we can use so thankfully streamlabs does have a lot of different options that we can use but if you want to get more defined and you want to actually set it up exactly the way you want it, CSS would be the way to go. In this case, I kind of like how Twitch is itself with the actual preset. But of course, you can play around with this as you wish. The next settings we have are the actual badges. And these are going to determine what badges will show up in our Twitch chat. So we have the moderator badges. As you can see, they were moving jump back on in our actual preview up top. We have subscriber badges, turbo, Twitch Prime badges and Bits badges. I would recommend leaving these on as it kind of vamps up the chat and gives a bit of differentiation to the actual text and the actual messages. But of course this is up to you, you can turn these off if you wish. The next setting is going to add extra emotes if you wish. What you can do is you can enable two different types of extra emotes outside of Twitch's emotes if you want to add them to your stream. The next thing we can change is the background color and if you want to remove all the background color you can simply remove the actual hex decimal code in here. Or if you want to add an actual background color to your stream chat, you can of course do that also. Next thing we can do is actually add the text color. Now I'd recommend white as this color, but of course you can do whatever you want for your stream and it will play around with you for whatever you're looking for. Underneath this we have the font size and you can play around with this to your heart's content. This is a little bit of trial and error to see what works with your stream, but in this case the default is usually a good starting point for you to play around with and see what you need to do. The next setting we have is hide message after and this is if you want your messages to slowly disappear after they come up on screen. So by default this is left to 15 seconds and of course you can increase this all the way up to 200 seconds or if you just want it permanently on screen you can simply check this box always show messages. This is helpful if you have a less popular Twitch stream but you still want to show your Twitch chat. Using this method you can still have your Twitch chat on screen and it'll still look like people are active in your chat and it makes your chat look less dead which will encourage new people to actually comment and talk. So this is a good option if you want to keep your chat on screen. In this case, I'm going to leave it to 200 seconds just because underneath here we have a really, really nice option that Streamlabs have, which is hide certain chatters. In this case, we're going to be able to hide common chatbots and hide commands starting with an explanation mark. I think this is a really nice feature that Streamlabs has because it can help remove spam in the chat and it'll make your stream look a little bit better. So I'd recommend turning both of these on. But of course, you don't have to. It just helps tidy up the chat a bit and makes your on-screen chat look a little bit cleaner and less kind of spammy and kind of annoying from bots telling people to subscribe. But of course, course this is completely up to yourself and finally we can add muted chatters now you should separate these by one line per person but this does not actually block people from hiding your twitch stream it just removes them from coming up on screen in your twitch chat overlay which i think is a really really nice feature that streamlabs has also and it just like helps it like define it a little bit better so if you want to remove some people that are always spamming but you don't necessarily want to take them out of the actual chat or if you have some other bots or other plugins on your twitch that hide chatters does not pick up you can put their names in here and you can remove them from the chat even if hide chatters is not able to see it so once you've all your settings enabled and you've everything that you like here simply click save settings we're going to come up to the top of the page and we're going to be clicking show widget url we're going to be grabbing this url by highlighting it and click copy and then we're going to be bringing it over to obs so now once we've obs open the first thing we'll be doing is coming down to sources and we're going to be adding a new browser source from here you can give it a name if you wish in my case i'm going to be naming it twitch chat overlay I'm going to be clicking OK, and from here we're going to be inserting our URL that we just grabbed from Streamlabs into the URL bar here. We have a couple of other settings with the height, the width, and the FPS. Of course, you can play around with these if you wish. If you're streaming at 30 frames or 60 frames, I'd recommend matching this with the actual frame rate that you're streaming at. 
You can play around with the height and weight if you wish, but we can actually change this a little bit later. And you can edit the CSS if you wish, if you know how to edit CSS. From here, I'm gonna click OK, and you're gonna notice that I'm left with a red transparent box. Now, this red transparent box is going to be where our Twitch chat is going to show up in. So you can put this wherever you actually want our chat to be. In this case, I'm gonna be showing this example with an actual black background, so you can see the text a little bit easier. Of course, you don't actually have to just stream with a black background, you can actually stream your game, which I would recommend doing if you're streaming to Twitch. So to test this, we're going to have to open up our Twitch chat and we're just going to have to type something into our Twitch box. And if we jump back over to OBS, we can see that our Twitch chat will show up here. Even though I'm not streaming right now, my Twitch chat will still show up on the screen. What I would recommend doing is changing your actual Twitch chat to make sure your Twitch chat is working and to make sure everything is working perfectly in there. But I would also recommend testing different sizes of texts to make sure that your text works even at a bigger size. So I'm going to be putting a bigger size text in here. I'm just going to be spamming a bunch of characters, um, adding a couple of enters just to make sure that everything works. And then you can go back to OBS to make sure that a certain sizes, certain letters, and certain characters don't go too far outside your screen. You're going to have to set this up to move it however you want. Now, you can use your boxes on the side here to change the height of this if you wish. But if you really want to change the size, I'd recommend going back into your Twitch overlay, going to properties, and changing your height and width here. Of course, there's a little bit playing around for your Twitch stream, depending on the game you're playing, and depending if you have a stream overlay or not. But anyway guys, it's as simple as that to add your Twitch chat overlay to your stream and you can also do it transparently if you wish. I'm going to leave my OBS Twitch tutorial playlist in the description down below where you can see other helpful tutorials that I show you how to do stuff with OBS and other stuff that might be helpful for you for streaming. I'm also going to leave my PayPal link down below if you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel, be sure to do that. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.